winning the faceoff by default. And the referee normally blows the whistle very soon after he sets the players. This time he's hesitating. They both move, and then he blows the whistle. Tom Finn gives it up. Here comes Roy Colsey. Colsey, I think, wants to break the momentum that Virginia has by himself. Finn feeds the crease. Oh, a save. Donegan will run it down. That shot taken by Morrissey. Point blank range. Marcy had a shot that could have found the net, but he just wrapped it around the pipe a little bit wide, about two inches to the left. Syracuse in their 12th straight semifinal. Virginia in for the first time since 88. Don Finn, how did he get through the crowd? The rebound put in. No goal. No goal. There was a man in the crease, and they're pointing to Donegan. They're saying Donegan was in the crease, but a great follow up. You know, these days, these goalies don't control the ball a lot because of the velocity of shots. You get a lot of block shots, a lot of second shots. Ireland comes in, gets a piece of it. It's on the ground right there. Pavlovic comes in, scoops up, takes it in. But the call was on Donegan being in the crease. I didn't even see him in the play, as a matter of fact. Actually, I think they said Finn was the man who ended up in the crease. All right, Finn was it, number 26. But so. Virginia throws the ball away with a minute and seven seconds to go. So Syracuse will have another chance. You can sense the Orange men want to get a goal now to give them not only the three goal cushion but to take away the momentum Virginia has captured Rozier well out of the cage to the midfield line to Colsey. Colsey. On the gift to Lockwood. Lockwood, Lockwood dodges two. right. He will fire and a save by Ireland. He had the read on that one. The outlet pass intercepted by Colsey. All sorts of men in front, and they can't get the pass there. Syracuse had three men in front with no defense, and Colsey slipped down. Ireland intercepts it with 38 to go, and he cheaps it out downfield where Beardsley pulls it in. Beardsley is ridden by Watson. And that will uh, create an extra man situation for Syracuse. Great heads up play at both ends of the field. Lockwood with a lazy pass behind, intercepted by Ireland. And then Watson, at 5'9, 165 pounds, the freshman, just takes a ride on Beardsley. Here's Watson, makes the check, and just locks the stick in. 165 pounds, just rides for a little while. Can I go for a ride, please? Syracuse now will have the extra man opportunity, only their second of the game. They connected the first time. So Virginia has stayed out of the penalty situation. And now with 25 to go in the half, Syracuse has the advantage right in front. And the ball is blooped out of bounds. Who's got it? Great check by Ireland. Again, they were shutting off one man in the midfield on the extra man. The defense, even though they're a man down for Virginia, came out and just cut off one of those offensive players for Syracuse that confused them for the moment and then Ireland came out and made the check playing as a player a field player ball goes out of bounds Stargia likes to do that and Dave Hill do that 10 man ride who involve Ireland in rides a lot we've seen it already where he'll come out and make the big check none more important than this last one he made because they were of course a man down Syracuse touched it last we have 13 seconds to go in the half Virginia with a chance to cut it to one at halftime. John Desco, longtime assistant for Roy Simmons Jr. This game, this sport is much more technical than it appears. Can they beat the clock? They will not get a shot. And they had one, believe me. Driggs had the shot of his life right there. He was wide open in front, couldn't collect it. He was so anxious to crank it up, he didn't pull the ball down. One second to go in the half as the flags came flying in. Virginia had an opportunity. They had the ball right in the slot. They could have pulled it to within one. Again, just so anxious to shoot it. I think it was Driggs number nine just didn't pull the thing down. Might be a penalty against Syracuse, it looks like, which means with one second left, one second left, it is a slashing. And Fotopoulos goes to the box. Now what you'll do is they'll hold him to the ball because if you have possession when the quarter ends, you start the next quarter with possession. No face off necessary. So you don't want to take an ill advised shot. If you throw it from one guy to the next, the ball's in midair. That means you face it off next time. So they will not make a pass here. And there it is. Time runs out. Virginia's got to stay uh, up on that power play and take advantage of those flagrant fouls for the Syracuse team and they'll get a chance to do that right here right the first half ended after Syracuse took a late slash so Virginia begins with a man up 
looking to cut the deficit down to one. Trainer, Greg Trainer, number 16, fake left, went right. There's Jones, number one. Now he gets it back. And Trainer up top again. Virginia's in the dark jerseys. David Jones and the save made by Rozier of Syracuse. So he starts out strong in that department. Not a great shot for an extra man shot. Jones looking right at Rozier, and Rozier picks it up cleanly. Face off's dead even. Rob Cavavit had one assist in the first half. Out from behind, Syracuse works. This Virginia defense has been such a proud unit throughout the year. I think they really enjoyed that halftime just to kind of regroup, come out now a little more confident of what they might be able to do against Syracuse. Charlie Lockwood without a goal in the first half. He fakes right. Draws the double, feeds even with a crease, and that was a tough angle shot. Ireland didn't have to save it, it hit the side of the cage. Here comes Jones, intercepted, but last touch by Syracuse. Bounces right off of Mark Fietta's stick. Fietta, a great player with, uh, with really tremendous talent, but playing in the shadows of uh, you know, three great All-Americans. Now next year, because he'll be back, Fietta, may be his year to shine. Virginia plays the bounce pass on the far side into the middle of the field. And now Trainer, oh, he took a hard shot and the ball comes loose. Syracuse with an opportunity to come away with it. And now they do, but we'll have a call. Well, Winnick with a wrap check started things off. Got the ball on the ground. That's where they want it for Syracuse. But the push call will give it back. Loose ball push gives the ball back to Virginia. When he makes this wrap check, you'll see a little push from behind. Push call gives it back to UVA. So Virginia maintaining possession of the ball much more in the second quarter. Now in the early stages of the third, that shot in Aaron won by David Jones, who has two of the Virginia goals. And again, they're not anxious to move the ball. I don't know what uh, the philosophy is for the offense, but they again look more like a one on one philosophy, which hasn't been successful yet. They've been very, very successful. A little bit of ball movement. Greg Trainer carries it way outside to initiate the offense up top. And here he comes. He's got some room in the middle. They've cleared it out for him. And he'll still maintain control of the ball. Now he finally gives it up. Is that Driggs or Dosh? I believe that's Driggs again, the lefty. And he goes low. The ricochet played out of the air by Wittick. Winnick leaves it behind. Now upfield, overthrowing Toby Price, but save inbounds. Terrific job by Kavovic. Knocked out of his stick, however. And on the turnover, Matt Crisp gets the ball back for Virginia. Great job by Crisp to come over strong and a quick stick check just knocked the ball. Kavovic was watching the sideline, dancing on it to make sure he stayed inbounds. Kavovic, just watch. He'll look down, he'll dance along the sideline, unaware of Matt Crisp. Crisp goes right to the stick, puts it out of bounds, and they get the ball back. Kavovic was trying to stay in bounds as momentum was carrying him toward the sideline, and you're right about that. He was totally unaware of the on-rushing defender. Now Ireland comes way out against the Syracuse half-field ride, and there's a spot in the middle of the defense for Virginia. Save Rozier, rebound right in front, taken down by his defense. They continue to go high on Rozier, and he does. He stands so tall in there, he plays the high shots much better than low shots. Chad Smith looks like he wanted to crank it. Now he'll back it off. The throw to Kavovic. Chad Smith, not a bad shooter. With 33 percent, seven goals and 21 shots. Three minutes gone by, just about here in the third quarter, and neither team has scored. It's an eight to six Syracuse lead. Lockwood begging for the ball behind the goal. Lockwood is parked behind the goal, and he was yelling at the attack players because he wanted it initially. Casey Donegan goes to Kavovic from back there, guarded by Dosh. Fietta was open up high. Morrissey is in the slot. Kavovic careless. They take it away from him. Dosh had the great rap check a la Syracuse and put the ball back down. Now here comes Craig Ronald. Up ahead quickly to Woody Moore. Virginia trying to get within one. Moore gets a ride from Fietta. Comes all the way in, but he was in the crease. He was in the crease when that shot was attempted. And I believe that will wipe out any goal. Well, the, the ball didn't go into goal anyway. It came back about five yards, so they rejected the shot. It didn't go in, but good speed Woody Moore does. He gets inside position on Fietta. Now he knows he has to launch himself into the cylinder. If the ball does get by Rozier before he hits the ground, that goal would count. He leaves the air at the ground, 
If the ball goes in the net before he lands, it's good. You saw it rejected by Rogier first, and then Woody gets into the crease. However, there was a call against Syracuse, a push on Fiena, I believe. Right, it must have been because he was riding him from behind. He had no way to play position against Woody. Virginia with a man up. They're one out of five. This is a big one now. Miller gets it back. He's played sparingly. Virginia hasn't had very many high percentage shots of the man up. Drew Fox, trainer. Watson and trainer again. Miller. The book from Virginia's standpoint must be to go high on Rogier, but you've seen how unsuccessful it's been. Score by David Jones. But when they go low, it seems to pay dividends. And Rozier appeared to be unhappy with his defense that time. It is a one goal game. We're coming back to College Park right after this. David Jones, the junior from St. Mary's School in Davidsonville, Maryland, right down the pike here, gets his second straight goal, third of the game, fires it low, and gets the goal against Rogier. Rogier comes right out and talks to his defense. A little upset, and I think more about the defense possibly, or maybe that shot, I'll take that back, because that shot, if you think about it, Dave, was a shot he was saving all throughout the game. And that time, he just didn't quite pick it up. The stick was there and everything. So. Eight to seven, we're back into a dogfight. Roy Colsey with it after Toby Price won the faceoff. Faceoff get off for Toby Price. Syracuse has not scored a goal in about uh, nine minutes of this game. It is eight to seven, Virginia. Now Syracuse looking to really answer back and break the momentum. Dom Finn has it. One goal game, anybody can win this one, but of course, Syracuse uh, is worried because they have not scored in a while. Tough angle and an even tougher shot off the fake. Syracuse gets it back on the goal by Casey Donegan. They go up 9 to 7. What a tremendous fake by Donegan. Donegan does a great job of drawing the defenseman. Watch, and then he'll stick fake right by him, a little face dodge, launches himself in and shoots just around Ireland. Looked like maybe an old five hole shot between the legs. Ground level, you'll be able to tell. Back to Donegan, he'll grab it right around the defenseman and then under the legs of Ireland. Good move for him to give them a two goal margin again. Never been behind Syracuse in this game. Signer and Drake's facing off this time. Syracuse controlled the ground balls early. Here's Tommy Smith turning and uh, tossing back. Overshot one man, but another's there to play it. Now Dixon in the midfield area. Quickly into the box. Virginia moving the ball smartly now. Sean Miller being ragged by the defense, being pushed toward the sideline. He just stayed in bounds. Now Driggs looks back. Is it the trainer coming on? They clear out and give trainer a lot of shooting room, and that shot is wide, backed up, however, by Whiteley. Whiteley's been quiet. Well, I don't think uh, Starja thinks that Whiteley and uh, Watson, they're both 5'8. I don't think he's comfortable with them going one on one against this aggressive defense for Syracuse. They want it to start from the midfield. They look for David Jones, and why not? He scored three goals. He comes out with a nice dodge. He goes low. Rozier for the save. Rick Beardsley is going to be doubled, and he comes out of there with the ball. He has magnificent stick skills. Now, Chad Smith. The long sticks for Syracuse, really very adept at moving the ball. Don Finn pointing ahead to one of his players where he wants him to be. Roy Colsey comes on, gets the ball. Signer heads off. Colsey with the dodge draws the double, finds Finn. Here's Colsey. He works through, lost the handle, and back from the Cavaliers. Great stick check by the short stick defensive midfielder. Now we're seeing some of the speed of Virginia. Here's an opportunity. There's Rozier. Back the other way we come in transition. And Dave, again, the high shot. Rozier seems to be picking him all off. Virginia's got to start putting that baby on the ground and really testing him if they want to get more goals. Finn with a fake. 
Eisenberg's on for Syracuse. He's camped out in front. Colsey pops out to play it. 9 7 Syracuse. I don't think we'll threaten that 38 goal uh, tournament record. Hopkins and uh, Towson State said it earlier this year. Casey Donegan has been a big factor in the game. Now the give to Morris. He tries to beat his man. Feed in front to Kavavit is knocked into the crease. May draw the push. He will. Joe Wilson was there to check from behind. Kavavit in good position. And Wilson just clamped down on him, but pushed him forward a little bit. Ball goes back to Syracuse. This is a national semifinal game. Charlie Lockwood has not scored for Syracuse. And that uh, mid first midfield is full of egos, believe me. And I know Charlie Lock Lockwood is fully aware that he hasn't dead of the nets yet. Here's defense by Crisp. Oh, nice pop up move by Finn. What a feed! And the rebound is put in. Done again, again. Great save initially by Ireland, but the rebound shot for Syracuse. It's not their first. They get a three goal lead off it. 10 to 7, Syracuse in control. Syracuse ability to pick up the loose ball after the first save has been critical today. They have at least two goals off it. Watch Finn find the man in front. Great save in front of the goal and the goal. Donegan picks up the loose ball right out of the air. Woody Moore cannot make the check. And from the back side, it's Donegan beating Ireland. The first save was made. It's the second save that becomes so critical in this game with high high velocity shots. Casey only goes 5 7. He's a senior out of Corning, New York. He has three goals today. He got five this year against Pennsylvania. Syracuse has a three goal lead, 10 to 7. Just to tell you how good things come in small packages, Donegan is 5 7, Don Finn is 5 8, and they've got six of the 10 goals. And both starting attacking for Virginia about the same size, 5 8, 165, around that area. It's a game for all sizes, and uh, you got to have a lot of speed. Syracuse 10, Virginia 7. We're in the third quarter, midway through, seven minutes to go. Virginia in the dark jerseys, they have the ball. Brad Hoy. Oh, the chest save that time. And the rebound through the legs of Whiteley. Chad Smith picks it up. Syracuse again getting back that ground ball momentum they had in the first half. Here comes Mark Fietta, checked away by Watson. Watson has surprised Starja this year with his poise as a freshman. Very confident player. Alex Rozier, 16 saves, eight for James Ireland. At one point, I think he was eight against none, so they've been played pretty evenly since that point in the game. There's a pick play and. Metopoulos with a big stick ran right around it, chasing Hoy. Players continue to slip, mostly uh, for Syracuse on this natural grass surface. And again, Virginia plays on natural grass, and Syracuse, of course, on turf. And I think obviously it's a factor. Whittick defends on Drew Fox. Fox still with it. This time Virginia had a bunch of players in the slot. A bad pass, the ball rolling to midfield, and. Syracuse tries to rake it across. Somebody stepped over for an offsides. Push call. Push. They'll give it a push call and that give it back to Virginia. Ball coming against Toby Price. Six minutes to go, third quarter, Syracuse 10, Virginia 7. The Cavaliers were in within one at 8 7. Here's a fine feed and a good save by Rozier again. Fatopoulos picks it up. Now Syracuse looks like they've regained their. Composure. Here's Rick Beersley. Loves to carry that stick out ahead. He feeds up ahead to the galloping Charlie Lockwood. Lockwood, who is a walk on on the Syracuse basketball team this year, fires and scores. First goal of the game for Charlie Lockwood and a big one. It ups the lead to four goals at 11 to 7. Well, you knew he wanted to get some shots off because he's a tremendously talented player and he knows he hasn't scored yet. This is why they call him Laser Lockwood, nicknamed the Laser. He looks at the defense sagging in, just gets full velocity, full body behind this, and with about a 95, probably, mile-an-hour shot, beats Ireland. That ball was right toward the stick, 
with enough speed to beat the reaction time of Ireland. 97th career goal right there for Charlie Lockwood. Become a more multi-dimensional player in recent years. Had the big shot early on in his career, but now uh, quite a passer and they'll look for his teammates. Here's Toby Price, won the faceoff. It's been a pleasant surprise today. Now Roy Colsey running behind Dom Finn. And they get it now to Donegan. Smith looking for it in front. Good ball Bill movement by Syracuse. Beard. Right in front. And Beardsley, who's camped out, couldn't uh, prevent himself from stopping. Oh, that's a foul on Beardsley. I thought it was Smith. I said Smith. It was Beardsley who came all the way down from the defensive end and waited for the feed. It came in. He got checked from behind and then shoved the player after he missed his shot and gets called for it. Well, it fits right in with the pattern. As soon as Syracuse gets up four goals, they take a chance. Beardsley comes down. He wants it. He's begging for it. He gets it. The check from behind. He's disappointed. The shot was behind. It was, was saved anyway. He's mad about it. Comes in. That player says something. I think after that moment, he comes back and shoves 29. And that's Craig Ronald. Ronald was probably giving his opinion about that shot. Four goals, Syracuse advantage, five minutes to go, third quarter. Big extra man, they've got to get one here down by four. Take advantage of these fouls by Syracuse. Miller across the trainer, you have to go high to get it. Fox is in the middle. Jones with three goals. Playing catch with Watson. Now trainer, he'll crank, he'll miss. You know, this penalty is something that the referees are emphasizing, Dave. It's that uh, the uh, taunting as it were in the penalty book uh, they really want to cut down the taunting that's really trickling down from the pro sports you see it in the NBA playoffs they want to stop the talking the uh, from these players back and forth and that's that penalty right now is all about they take out the trash talking penalty from behind trainer perfect timing had it knocked away as the penalty was up and Syracuse couldn't have timed that one any better on Schmidt has a couple of seconds of freedom to regain the ball Cap of it on and the give to Donegan. Virginia still continues to dominate in shots, but not the kind of quality shots that Syracuse continues to pour on. Donegan used the Morrissey pick. He loses the ball. It's going to stay inbounds. He's battling there with the big defender, Joe Wilson. Push call gives it back to Syracuse. Donegan puts it back in play. Eisenberg, a cutter in front. Paul Sullivan is on. He gets it now, number 21. Sullivan starts his move. He slips down. He's in trouble and he loses it. However, a hold. Woody Moore gets detected. Syracuse with 11 goals on only 22 shots. Virginia, meanwhile, 7 of 38. 50% shooting.